Alrighty. How's it going, everyone? Uh, so this is a quick sort of prologue to uh, the E3 content that's coming up, as well as just a small little update about the status of things. I haven't uploaded a video in about a month. In fact, I would say a little over a month now. And uh, if you don't know why, you guys gotta watch my previous video before this. It's uh, the major channel update I did. It explains why. Uh, basically, I took some time off, and uh, the stuff that I'm going through, huge life changes, and uh, just getting myself back on track. Now, I know everyone has questions as to when I am returning fully. I honestly cannot give you a specific date. Uh, probably, I hope to get back next month. The reason it's taking so long is uh, there's a personal matter that's going on, and I'm going to explain it to you guys uh, when it gets resolved. Uh, but at this time, uh, I'm going to keep things kind of, uh, you know, on the down low and just let you guys know, hey, I'm a little bit busy at the moment and uh, I can't exactly come back to YouTube fully yet. Uh, but I hope to come back at the end of next month uh, before games start coming out in September. I think that'd be really nice. Alright, so let me explain exactly what's going to be coming up for E3. All right? I have 10 videos prepared for E3 2017. <clears throat> These videos uh, are going to consist of gameplay and my impressions of those gameplays, as well as uh, just typical type of vlogs. It's sort of a mixture of both. So the first video you guys are going to start seeing uh, is actually uh, Jake and I going through Bethesda land. Uh, at the Bethesda conference, they set up this sort of mini carnival, but Bethesda themed with all their games and whatnot. And uh, we're going to be walking through that, and uh, there's a Ferris wheel that we went on, so you're basically going to be seeing a first-person perspective around, you know, 7 to 10 minutes or so of us walking through um, that whole theme park. And it was actually pretty fun to go to, even though their press conference wasn't that exciting, uh, besides one or two things. In addition to that, I'm going to start getting into the gameplay and the stuff that I got to play at E3. What you guys are going to see is actual live gameplay footage of me playing those games. And at the same time, um, I'm going to give you guys my impressions on basically what I played. So you'll see exactly what I saw, and you'll see exactly what I got to play, and uh, it'll be pretty exciting. I'm also going to go talk about my uh, thoughts and all that stuff in detail uh, when you start seeing those videos, all right? I'm going to start getting those up by the end of this week, maybe as soon as, you know, Wednesday. I'm going to try and space them out as well. Uh, because I kind of want them to, ha ha I want to have them spaced out so it's not just like a dry, it's not like I upload it all at once and then there's like nothing for a period of, you know, a month again. I want to space it out so that there's about two to three videos coming out every single week and that you guys have something to watch. And it's, it's kind of short but sweet content. I'm not going to go on in like a tangent and start talking about these games, but I am going to upload the full gameplay demo that I saw and I was able to record. Now there are about one or two games that I didn't actually get to record. These were behind closed door demos, or these were from developers that basically did not allow me to record their game, unfortunately, but you know, it happens. So uh, if that, if, with that being said, I'm basically gonna be taking footage that we already saw of those games at E3 and just kind of placing them uh, in the video and then talking over that generic gameplay, if you will. So that's what's gonna be coming up. Now I also want to talk about the other content that's coming up besides the E3 stuff. Notably, I have some unboxings for you guys planned. The big one that's coming up uh, as soon as I get back is the Nintendo Switch, alright? I have a big Switch unboxing coming up. I got one for my birthday and I still haven't opened it, I swear. The Nintendo Switch is still sealed. And there's, it's cool because I'm also kind of getting other accessories and stuff. I still need to get games for it and I still need to get a big memory card for it, so I'm taking my time. Uh, but just letting you guys know, yes, I have a Nintendo Switch unboxing coming up. In addition to that, I also have the Xbox One X. When that comes out, I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing of that. Jake and I are going to split it again like we did with the PlayStation 4 Pro. So expect a similar unboxing like that. All right. And then I'm also going to be uh, sort of redecorating my room. You guys know I didn't, I haven't done a room tour in a very long time. I was actually in the process of getting new furniture and new equipment and whatnot for my bedroom before I moved. Um, so now that I'm going to actually have, you know, a bedroom and it's going to be a different layout than before, I'm going to do an updated space and it's going to be all personalized. I need to get a new TV. I already have the TV picked out, so I'm going to be picking up a new TV 
and uh, it's gonna look really nice and I just can't wait to do a big room tour for you guys but I'm gonna be doing basically an unboxing of some of the cool stuff that I got through that sort of room tour room upgrade stuff in addition I may be building a new computer for work I have to see because my priorities are gonna be on paying off my debt so I'm that's that's before I'm buying anything, like the room upgrades and whatnot, that's my main priority is just paying off that debt first. But I am thinking about building another computer for work, like a sub, you know, $500 work machine that can just get the job done, nothing major. But I may do a little build video of that, maybe I'll live stream the build for the first time and it's going to be surrounding, you know, work and uh, just a nice desk computer and it's going to be AMD based, so it's going to be my first AMD build, all right, which is actually pretty interesting. We'll see how that goes. And uh, there's some other stuff going on, like I'm actually looking to get a new phone uh, in the near future. Uh, my Nexus 6P, you know, has, it's over, a, it's actually, I got it a year ago. Um, but as soon as I think next month, Google's not going to be updating the OS anymore. And what that means is that Basically, the phone's going to be discontinued from, you know, Google services. You're not going to be updating the phone with latest software anymore. And when you're basically to the point where you're not going to be receiving, you know, manufacturer updates, it's pretty much time to get a new phone. And I love my Nexus 6P, to be honest. Uh, it's been a great phone, and uh, but I sort of bought it late in the game, and I paid only 400 bucks for it. And it was such a good price, and I actually couldn't be happier with the phone. But I'm actually looking at getting a new phone as soon as the end of this year. Uh, I'm mo most notably, I'm looking at the Nokia 9 or the Google Pixel 2. I'm going to have to look at each, but I'm thinking about Nokia 9 uh, going forward because Nokia is kind of coming back. So expect uh, an unboxing of that basically whenever that happens. There's a lot of unboxings and a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, live streams are going to be coming back. I'm actually going to be upgrading the internet here significantly. The Wi-Fi here is kind of crap. And the speeds are kind of crap, only around 40 megabits per uh, 40 megabits per second. The upload speed is really low, so it's just not going to be you know optimal for really streaming and recording. So I'm going to be looking to upgrading that um, very soon. So yeah, that's the other stuff that's going to be coming up. So other than that, that is basically the main meat of the content that I'm going to be uploading, uh, starting hopefully as soon as the end of this week. I'm actually going to start working on some stuff tomorrow and uh, hopefully get some stuff uploaded for you guys ASAP, all right? Now, uh, a quick little thing as far as how I'm doing and what's going on. Uh, I'm fantastic. You know, I have to say that I have gotten out of some really bad habits of mine um, now that I've sort of changed my whole lifestyle. You know, it used to be that I used to spend money um, on food like once or twice a day, you know, and it was crazy because I would always go out to eat. I was either at work and I had 45 minutes on my lunch, so I would just go and get some fast food or I'd go and do this. And I, th I think I did it because I felt sort of uncomfortable in my lifestyle. Like I didn't feel like I... Um, you know, I could, I could really just move around freely and uh, just, I, I just didn't, I don't know what other word to use other than uncomfortable, you know, but that's sort of how I felt. And so, uh, as a result of this, I typically came home and I shut myself out and just, you know, sort of moved on from there on forward. And uh, I, you know, whenever there was, whenever I was basically hungry, I would go out and I would eat and I would grab fast food or something like that. And it sucks because I gained a lot of weight. In fact, if you watch my videos from like 2012, 2013, back when I was in high school, you know, um, like those early, early, early days, I was fairly skinny. You know, I was about 165, 170 pounds, you know, and uh, it's funny because I have like no muscle structure at all. Now I'm almost 200 pounds and I still don't have any muscle structure whatsoever. So, you know, not only was I eating out, like once or twice a week, you know, lunch and dinner sometimes. Not only was I eating out and not eating healthy, but I also wasn't working out at all. And I used to run and I used to, you know, make my lunch and, uh, you know, my parents used to cook and all that stuff. And I just didn't have the luxury of that anymore. It was like a subconscious decision that, okay, as soon as I got into college, bam, just, just terrible habits. And uh, it, it sucked because I got myself into a lot of debt because of it, and uh, I, I never really had uh, financial security because I was spending 20 bucks a day 
on you know food it was just you know it was terrible what this life change has done for me is really opened my eyes now uh, I no longer eat out to be honest with you guys I probably eat out maybe once a week uh, maybe once or twice a week to be honest I really only eat out when I go to Jacobs for the weekend and you know maybe we'll get like fast food or maybe we'll go to like a restaurant um, but what's nice about that is I make my food from home now and almost every single day whether it's lunch and even dinner you know meals are cooked or I cook myself something and uh, it's fantastic because I'm eating healthier not, not only am I not eating out and I'm eating healthier but I'm also saving money as a result of that and that's what's awesome so it's like I'm getting myself back on track but in addition to that I also got back into running I'm starting to really work out consistently now to the point where I'm you know running or do running on, or running on the treadmill or doing the elliptical like every other day and so I'm starting to get back into good habits and my body's just in a sore pain mess you know because it's like oh you haven't worked out in like four years and you're just trying to come back wait a sec what's going on you know that's that's sort of the situation I'm in but I feel I, I feel much more positive about everything and this new job that I have, you know, which was basically the main result of me moving, is fantastic. And I enjoy what I do, and I, and I really like the work. The people there are really nice. And uh, it's so stress-free. I mean, the guy, who, the guy who basically runs the company uh, used to work at Apple. And he had something to do with, like, the iPod, like, the, the, the main uh, development of, like, the iPod. And uh, it, it's awesome because he runs the business like a similar structure where it's kind of very laid back. Like you see, this is where what is this is where what I wear to work every day. Like this is literally what I wear to work. Every day. I, I wear some jeans and a nice button down shirt. It's very business casual, and I feel comfortable. I it's nice not working in retail anymore where you're just like I gotta have to go 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 go. There's no one breathing down your neck. There's no you know rude customers. It's it's a desk job and it's computer based, and you know if, if I want to if I want to go out to lunch or if I want to grab something, I can go and I don't have to be back at a specific time. You know if if I'm really tired of just of just what I'm doing, like it's just so tedious, I can spend 20 minutes and go browse Amazon or go watch some YouTube videos. You know as long as I get my work done. And what's nice is that I'm actually working more. So. I'm full time, but to be honest with you guys, I probably work around 50 hours a week now, which is actually pretty cool. Now you may say, 50 hours a week—that's that, that's that's you know that's a lot more than the normal. Like how how are you taking that? Well, keep in mind that it's not 50 hours a week of tedious, constant work. I basically wake up every morning around 6:30, 6:45. And I get to work around 8, and I've started to actually eat breakfast now, which is good because I basically did not have, I used to not eat breakfast at all, like for years, and like even back in high school, I never had breakfast. So now I'm actually consistently having breakfast, even it's just Cheerios and just cereal and whatnot, but it's at least something, you know, breakfast is what they say the most important meal of the day, so uh, it's, it's really good to actually get back into that, you know, and, and just give my body the type of nourishment it needs. But that being said, um, yeah, it's nice because I don't have to be at work at a specific time. I get there around 8, uh, but I can get there at 8.30 if I want to. Hell, you can probably get there at 9 and typically leave around, you know, 5, 5.30, sometimes 6 o'clock. I just have to get my work done and make sure I get my work done. And uh, it's it's just so, so stress-free and what's awesome about this is I'm pretty much making around double if not more than what I used to make at my previous job and so my number my priorities have all shifted right now I'm focused on paying off all my debt you know and I had all this debt that I accumulated over the years of just you know subconscious spending like I said you spend all that money on food I was like ah oh, I can't afford it I'll just go and I'll go get this really quick it's only like 10 20 dollars you know, a day, and I'll, I'll just pay it off. I'll just make sure I pay it off in my next, you know, check. And you know, it's amazing how much. You know, if you ever wanted to break a habit, if you ever wanted to break a habit, and it's really hard for people to break a habit. But the best advice that I can give you in terms of breaking a habit is change your lifestyle. If you truly want to break a habit, you have to change significantly. Change your life up. 
And this significant change, a brand new, you know, living in, living in a brand new environment, uh, having a new job, um, just just feeling overall more positive, and uh, just feeling like you know I'm comfortable with where where I am, just just all of that, and and being able just to be happy, and you know making all this money now, and getting back into YouTube, and having all these opportunities. It's changed my whole mindset, and as a result of that, I'm breaking all these terrible habits, and I couldn't be more happier to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm having a great time, I'm enjoying myself, and uh, I'm really thankful uh, just for the opportunities that have been given to me. And as a result, I'm really thankful for you guys for your patience over the years. It's been awesome. So that said, I just want to thank you guys so much. Keep a look out for the E3 content, and I will see you all later. All right. Follow me on Twitter for updates. I'll talk with you all soon. Bye.